friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Agnes and I am a data scientist living in Kochi so in this video I am going to be sharing my experience of job hunting during this uncertain times so as we already know layoffs are going on and there is a recession coming and I was luckily able to get a job as a data scientist so I am going to share with you the strategies that worked for me and what are the things that did not work for me introspection I read a lot of books I had a lot of podcasts and I even did a lot of personality tests to see what fits me as a person and what is uh, what are the career opportunities that I would enjoy and that fits my lifestyle uh, I used to work in research and there are a lot of different types of data scientists there are people who work in research there are people who work in business and there are people who work on building applications so in research i was doing mainly solving problems and building prototypes for complicated problems but once i started applying for jobs i realized that that's not really what the industry wants uh, most of the data scientist job openings are uh, for people who can build a system from start to end and deploy it and scale it so people are looking for mostly companies are looking for uh, jack of all trades uh, that's when i realized that i have i still have to upskill myself so then i uh, enrolled for a few courses and on coursera i also used 365 data science they are a really good resource a uh, one important thing to do is when you are learning something do a project on the side uh, and it that's the only way you can really learn uh, data science so you have to be uh, hands-on then after doing a bunch of courses and um, upskilling myself I uh, built a resume which was a one page resume with all my experiences and all my skill sets I started applying for jobs after applying for about 70 to 100 jobs I started receiving few calls and I got almost uh, 10 callbacks uh, so that's the ratio when you apply for like 10 jobs you might get one callback so don't be disappointed after applying for a few jobs and you are not getting any calls then don't get disappointed and I tracked all my applications on uh, an ocean template and I just uh, figured out what are my gaps and upskill myself on that particular area and one other thing that I learned from all this experience is that don't worry about things that are outside your control do your part and do it well you can do a lot of things like upskilling yourself you can uh, network and you can meet new people join a data science community and put your work out there through blogs or upload your code in github be the best at what you do if you have an idea for a uh, nap that has a machine learning part then build a prototype do interesting things like that and you you also have to uh, show your work so there's a book from Austin Cleon called show your work and it's a really good read a uh, few other resources that help me uh, are 80,000 hours it's a website uh, it promotes effective altruism and it helps a lot in identifying what we actually need from a job and what makes you you know enjoy your life and your work uh, and designing your life is a good book the work is an, another amazing book so i will make another detailed video about all the projects i did and all the books and learnings i had during the gap time this is mainly to uh, motivate you to look for data science jobs and internships so i got uh, my first job out of college through placement campus placement and so this is the first time i uh, went through the normal job hunting process <clears throat> it was very interesting 
one thing i realized is that there's no point in worrying about things you cannot control you always have to upskill yourself and uh, show your work uh, to get better just uh, figure out what you can do to solve a problem and do it and hope for the best i'm extremely uh, excited to start working for a startup coming from very big company i um i already started working but my projects are uh, having started linkedin is a very powerful tool you can use it to your advantage and uh, i got my job through linkedin after updating my profile on linkedin i i added recommendations from my past colleagues and i added badges i added every skill that i had and uh, I added a lot of certifications. I, then I put a post and a recruiters uh, reached out to me after seeing my post and that's how I got the job. So LinkedIn is very powerful. Another thing is that don't run behind trends and things like that. Realize, understand what, what your skill is and use it for something that society wants and that's how you build a good career and build if you are if you want to get into business that's how you build a successful business so taking some time out and figuring out these things are okay uh, and the environment you stay when you are looking for jobs are very important because people can demotivate you build a healthy lifestyle and healthy system around yourself consistency and focus are two things that can elevate your every part of your life that's what i learned doing all this doing youtube uh, blog i still have to implement it because i as you know i am not consistent on this channel but i really this is something that i really enjoy and i want to do it and consistency is very important when it comes to learning focus is also very important the world is getting more and more distracted and our attention span is getting reduced every day so beware of that and work consistently for your goals that's all i have to say i will definitely share my experience uh, working as a data scientist and on this channel so this channel is not just for data scientists i have a few topics that i am really interested in uh, one is health and nutrition and i'm also very interested in designing your life rather than just going with the flow and it has served me well so far so you can if you are into those kind of content subscribe to my channel and i know i'm not consistent or the video is not that high quality but but eventually i will not learn new things and i will definitely produce very high quality videos till then if you want to join the journey please hit subscribe that's all for today's video see you in the next video bye